now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody! See that? It says the Alex of the or the Ramble, and it says Alex here, and we'll be here until midnight tonight. Let me just do a little preface before I play what I'm about to play. As you know, gee, it's almost been about a year ago. Our good friend. Uh, Will Durst had a stroke, and uh, he's been battling to try and get himself back into some kind of shape, and it hasn't been easy. Uh, but I'm I'm going to play Will for you, and while I'm playing Will for you, you might go over to my Facebook page at uh, facebook.com forward slash A Bennett, and there's a link to his GoFundMe page so that you can maybe donate some money to him. But I want you to remember what he was like, and for the next 23 minutes... Here's our good friend, Will Durst, as we knew him. Well, after a lot of starts and stops and everything, and uh, because of technical problems, which I can't even figure out why they existed, but, you know, you do what you say, you reboot. You know, when in doubt, reboot. There's Will Durst. Look what I got on my reboot. Turn it on and then off. Yes, <laughs> turn it on and then off. And then I tried to turn the machine off, and it wouldn't turn off. Oh, yeah, I kept it going, restarting, restarting, restarting. So I had to then hard, do a hard start, and finally we got you, and then now my camera's working again, the one that wasn't working, and uh, we're here. Did you did you ch exchange cameras, mm -hmm. or had you done that earlier? I had done that earlier, but now this is back to the old camera, and it's working. So this is with the little mice, and they're chipping yeah, yeah, away at yeah. the pixels and stuff? Well, you see, I only do this about twice, uh, three times a month, okay? use this machine to do this Skype thing. Ah. Uh, ah. So I, you know, whatever happened, happened before. But I have another machine here. See, this is my, it, it's like, if, if there are days when you learn that you don't touch anything <laughs> because it will break. Okay? Yeah. yeah. So I've got on my other machine, all of a sudden the internet freezes up on it about once a day. And I have to reboot the machine, and I don't know what's doing that. It's got to be some program I put in there. So I reinstalled the operating system. We'll see what happens. But that's been one problem. My wife has an iPhone that keeps going ding, ding. I'm trying to sleep. Ding, Why? ding. I, who knows? We, Are people sending her texts? No. Is she getting updates on the stock market? It, 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 no. None of that. Ding, ding driving me crazy and now of course you uh i have we have problems with you with me getting a, a, my video camera in skype to work the other one worked okay and 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 you said you were having trouble with your computer i was i couldn't get onto the internet for some reason i i charged it up all night and it opened up fine and then i yeah. i get on the internet and it just sat there for like five minutes you paid your bill I, didn't you no idea yeah you paid your bill. no idea yeah who do you use? And of course, if I didn't have an appointment with you, uh -huh. I would have gone on like that. Oh, co of you know? course. Yeah. So what? Uh, what I what what ISP do you have? What cable service do you have, or internet service do you have? Uh, I think we have Xfinity, which is Comcast. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. And they're pretty good. Yeah. Well, I, well, I have FiOS, wonderful. which is pretty good too. But for some reason. Uh, you know, I keep having problems, uh, uh, you know, with the internet now, uh, and I, it could be my machine, but it, I think it's more likely something I installed recently that's that's causing the problem. Yeah, you got to turn everything off every now and then. It, well, yeah. So, um, you know, I, I put in my operating system again. We'll see maybe if that was a problem. If that's not, you know. I'll, uh, one thing after another. Who cares? It's I don't care. Always, it's always something. Well, you know, I, I think about giving up on this whole thing because I'm so sick and tired of the technical problems. You know? Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I live from the I live in the light switch generation that wants to flip the switch and the light goes on. Okay? And Up only once on, in a while, uh, uh, once in a while, the light doesn't go on. So you switch, you change your light bulb because it probably burned out. All right, 
but it, 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 computers aren't that way. I don't know how people who don't know about computers like I do exist in this world because even the most simple operation or as simple as they try to make it is difficult for a lot of people, you know? Well, it's like cars. You know, cars got so complicated. And all I know is, you know, you put the gas in the back and the oil in the front and then you turn the silver thing. Yeah, well, now I But get, now you don't even turn the silver I'll, thing. I'll, you just it, push the red I'll, thing. I'll rent a car. Uh, let's say I haven't driven a car in about three years now. Right. Go out and rent one. Okay, I wonder if I still know how to drive. You know, that's no. not... That's no, you big, know how to drive. You just don't know how to turn the car on. Well, <laughs> all of a sudden, there's like, uh, you push a button to start it. Yeah. yeah. You know? Oh, I, I don't need a key? No, because you already had a key to get in. Or you had a way to get in, so it knows you're you're supposed to be in the car, so therefore you just push start. You know? So yeah, I, I don't know about all these RFDs that we're carrying around. I don't know if they're good for us. What, RFDs? What? What's that? Radio frequency device. Oh, well, that, I'm, I'm. That's what the key is now, I'm, and that's why you can approach your car and just open the car handle, even if it's locked, because the key fob, the little key fob, is sending out a signal saying that you're okay to enter the car. Yeah, but. But it's got to be affecting us somehow, you know. Oh, yeah. Like, remember when they said sell your phones because we held them up to our head, cause brain damage? Well, I don't think it's the cell phone frequencies that cause brain damage. I think it's the stuff you're doing all day long with your phone. I, I see people who never stop looking at their phone, you know. They, they're always doing something on it. And I, I think that causes a certain thing. Let's call it... Uh, iPhone brain, you know? <laughs> well, I'm convinced that's why people are getting hurt at ball games now. People never used to be, it's you know, right. they used to have a screen behind the plates, and that was it, because people were paying attention, Yeah, you know? And now, and now, oh, I got hit in the head. Well, yeah, you weren't looking at the game. The ball came right at you. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, but, but you're right. There seems to be a correlation between the use of iPhones and people getting hit in the head by baseballs. You know. So now we have to screen the entire area. Yeah. You know, so people who are sitting like in the first row get a tan with hash marks all over them, you know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, just for these silly people who can't pay attention and, long enough. And, and, and actually, you they're going to get a hit in the head with a speeding projectile. Well, actually, you don't want to sit like down in front you, over the dugout. You want to be up a bit so you don't have that netting in front of you. I have yeah, a great we're in the I, have a, I, row. I have a great protective device though for that uh, at baseball games. Yeah. Don't don't go to them. <laughs> you know. You will never be hit by a baseball. Uh, no, well actually I I could be. I don't mind going to baseball games. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the game, but I love the activity. I love the socialization of going to a baseball game, sitting with your friends, having some hot dogs, some beers, talking. Once in a while, something out in this pasture happens, <laughs> and everybody gets excited, and then it's back to talking to your friends and having some beer. And You know what I'm saying? There's a, yeah, no, there's exactly. A, there's a social saying. aspect. Now, it used to be that social aspect only cost you like $5. How much does it cost for a baseball game now? I think tomorrow's game... Uh, with at the Pac Bell uh, 18th uh, SB uh, Oracle Park, the Giants are playing the Oakland A's in the afternoon. Yeah. So it's a one o'clock game, and I think tickets are eighty five dollars. And I looked at the World Series tickets because they were thirty years ago, mm -hmm. nineteen eighty nine, mm -hmm. and the World Series tickets were fifty dollars. And that was a World Series ticket. To go to the World Series, yeah. Now it's 85 just to go see a bunch of guys. On a Wednesday afternoon. Yeah. Uh, travel across the bridge to come play a game. You know? Yeah. 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 And it's, you know, uh, uh, well, you know what? I, I have been griping about our movies. You know, the cost of going to a movie, you, you know, we're seniors. Uh, you may have noticed. Um <laughs> So we get in at the lower price. You get in for a senior price, right? No? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, and the day you finally realize you're getting older is the day you're willing to admit you're old enough to get a senior ticket. You know, if 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 you can get a, if, especially if you're Jewish, if you can get a lower price on a ticket, you know. You know what pisses me off though is when I ask for a senior ticket and then I reach for my wallet to show my ID and the cashier goes, no, no that's okay. <laughs> Don't take my word for it. Yeah. So, you know. Uh, 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 so Movie. What? Movies. Movies. Oh, movies, yeah. So, you know, uh, with a senior price, let's say I, I like to go to the 3D movies. That's the only reason to go to a movie is for the big things, the little I, things you're going to see I, on. I hate the 3D. I hate the 3D. I love the 3D. I hate the 3D. I was When I was a kid, I was a big 3D fan. I saw every 3D film that came out, and I saw some pretty shitty pictures, okay? But, I, but they were 3D, right? And they were real 3D. This stuff is processed 3D. These, this wasn't shot in 3D. It wasn't shot stereoptically. Um, so, uh, uh, but I, I go to the 3D movie. And so that's a little more than it would normally be. And we're getting the senior ticket for the two of us, $42. Holy crap. 42 fucking bucks. Now, Holy crap. Minute, that's for the ticket. Now you go in to get the popcorn and the soda. That's another $18. It is. You, do you know that the box they put the popcorn in is more expensive than the popcorn itself, even in the big bucket? You know. I believe that. But that's where I mean, the popcorn well, at home. But that's where the movie companies make their profit, the theaters. Uh, and, and the reason the theaters make a profit on that is because they don't make a profit on the films. The first week that it's sitting in the theater, they don't get a penny. Okay. Second week, maybe they get like a little percentage. If it lasts like a month in there, then they start seeing some money. But where their money is made is at the concession counter. But so, yeah, but I got to be honest. For the first thirty-five years of my life, mm -hmm. I didn't pay a penny in concessions. For the first thirty-five, I would go to a movie. I would go to the Woolworths and get candy there. I couldn't pay those exorbitant prices when I was a kid going to the movie. I could barely get into the movie. So for the first 35 years of my life, yeah. I did not buy any concessions. And then I started uh, feeling a little more comfortable that I knew where a paycheck was. And then I started buying, but for the first, I wouldn't buy soda. I wouldn't buy popcorn. I wouldn't buy candy. I, I, I would I would wear big, heavy jackets and bring the candy in with me. So now I, I feel like I owe it back to them. Well, you know, my feeling is, all right, if, if you want my opinion on this, that um, uh, you, you are spending a lot of money at that candy counter. So doing what you did is proper. But if they found out you had that candy, they would confiscate it. Uh, that's what they said. Yeah. No, if I, well, let's, say, let's say I go to the theater this week. And I bring with me a bucket of popcorn. Yeah, you can't you can't do it in, you know. Do you think they would let me in with a bucket of popcorn? They would? No, they wouldn't. No. They did confiscate my popcorn at the door. Yeah, you can't shove it in their face, but if you got it in your pocket. But there's something hey, popcorn is hard to but smuggle. But there's something in. wrong about that. I just spent forty-two dollars for two tickets, okay? And now I can't bring my own popcorn? You bring a big coat and you put your popcorn in a bag <laughs> and you hide it in here and you walk in. They won't say nothing. They won't say yeah, right, right, right. But oh, and then you add to it the cab ride to the theater, which is fifteen dollars, and the cab what ride. What do you get a cab to the movie theater for? Walk. But the theater we go to is like two or three miles away. Take an Uber. If the Uber would cost us that. Maybe That's a little more. Fun. A little, maybe a little more. Anyway, so we spend about, let's say, $25 on cabs. So there's $25, $15. How much are we up to? And the, and the $42 ticket? It's like uh, too much money. It better be a good movie. It better blow me. Have you seen you know? Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Yes. Did you like it? Nah. Why? What did you think? I loved it. You loved it. What did you like about it? Every scene uh, had like an origin to it. Like every scene, like uh, when they start out with the Western 
It looks like a Western from the 50s. It looks like one. Mm -hmm. It looks lived in. It looks like, yeah, I've seen that that uh, that opening credit sequence over and over and over. It looks lived in. I like the menace of Charlie Manson's family and the fact you only see him once. And it's kind of creepy. I liked uh, uh, the emotional release of the fight at the end. Because mm -hmm. uh, you hardly ever see you know, people getting murdered and the audience is laughing. <laughs> and it was, it was done on a knife's edge, the balance. Yeah. Uh, I love the little the scene with the little girl in the in the movie set, uh, and when she tells, because well, because you're an actor, well, that's I mean, a, you that's know, a, that's the, a very nice piece. That's the kind of thing I love about Tarantino is that kind of piece. But there wasn't a lot of that in this film. Usually, his films. The scene with uh, her going to the movie to watch herself. No, I don't think that was that kind of scene. I mean, I, I go back to things like Inglorious Bastards, where you have that opening scene with the German actor. What's his name? Uh, uh, oh. Christoph Waltz. Waltz. And, 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 the, uh, and the guy. And they're sitting in the house having a discussion. I time that thing out. That thing goes almost 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. You know? And that's what I like about Quentin Tarantino. And he, and he did a lot of that in The Hateful Eight. You know, he is always one to take out a space in time and then really do a real uh, 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 thing, you know. And um, it, it's, it's, I don't know, I just, I'm sorry. I, 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 didn't, I, I hear that I, from a lot of people. I, I, a lot of people I, I, didn't like it. Didn't like it a lot, you know, so uh, anyway. Um, like it a lot, or you didn't like it a lot. Yeah, all of a sudden, my thing is saying here encoding overloaded, considered turning down video settings, but it's does it isn't overloaded. I don't know, I give up on this. You know, I hope this is good, this is being recorded, folks, in a fine manner. Otherwise, uh, we're wasting our time anyway. <laughs> and then we're having a fine conversation. Oh, I just everything, everything goes bad. Uh, you know, what can, I, what, can, what can I say? Uh, this thing isn't uh, set to o overload for crying out loud, you know. Uh, there we go. There's the settings. And I go up here and I go to uh, video. And uh, the video output is currently active. Okay, fine. And uh, uh, the output uh, is fine. And it's recording at a standard rate. And I, I don't know what the thing is. I don't see. I mean, this is just the problem we keep having. But what the and my hell? computer is uh, for some reason is overloading because uh, the blower is on. And I can always tell. <laughs> the, the blower is. I mean the fan. Yeah, the blower. That's you don't know the technical term. It's technical no. technical term is fan. Oh really? It's not called the blower. No, no. So anyway, how how can my encoding be overloading? Oh, now it says it is. Jeez, I don't understand this. I give up. I give up on all of it. Okay. I'm just, you know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you know, yeah. don't give up on the technology. As well you should say. Anyway, you know, so uh, but let's quickly, uh, let's uh, and let's hope this all records okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I wrote a column about this summer being a, a stupid summer, stupid, lousy, stinking, hot summer. Yeah. Because of all the shootings and stuff. Yeah. Um, that we're so busy giving our thoughts and prayers to... Gilroy and El Paso and Chicago and Virginia Beach and Dayton and Toledo. Yeah. yeah. That there's not 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 even time for for theme parks and picnics and cornrows. Right. Well, it's it, it it is not a good year. Uh. Uh. But uh. You know. I mean. How the Trump people can't say that he is giving these people a sense of permission to do what they're doing is beyond me. I mean, it, 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 there's, there's a correlation, okay? Like I got a bad program going here somewhere, uh, I will turn off a program to eliminate that as a problem. Well, I can't eliminate yeah. Trump as a problem for these <laughs> actions by crazy people because he's giving a sense of permission, you know? Yeah, he actually said though, he didn't think that his rhetoric was racist. He thought his rhetoric brought people together. Yeah. 
He yeah. can't actually believe that. I mean, he is right. He's bringing people together with their victims. You know. That's right. That's right. You know. So I, I, you know, I'm, I'm. It's all you know, it's 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 all crazy, and and I I'm getting a little tired of it. You know. So. Do you think America's getting a little tired of it? I don't know if America's getting tired of it. That I don't. That I don't understand. Uh, I I I think we're getting. I'll tell you what we're. I'll tell you what's making us tired of it. Uh, something like MSNBC is making me tired of it, because the same story over and over and over again. They're still pushing the same thing over and over and over again. Or if I go to Fox, it's the same thing. It's just the opposite. Okay, but uh, I I think that we're overloaded because the media is overloading us with this stuff. I'm making a controversy out of everything. I mean, uh, Epstein goes out, commits suicide. Everybody's making a big deal about it. Aren't you glad the guy's dead? You know, hey, congr- I like what he did. He killed himself. We, we don't have to put up with him now. You know, but no, they oh, we want investigations, and Bill Barr wants the Justice Department to figure the whole thing out. You know, it's ridiculous. I feel, I feel the same way because of the blanket coverage. I mean, for the three days before uh, Epstein uh, committed suicide, mm-hmm. it was wall-to-wall uh, gun violence, mass shootings. You had experts on. You talked to candidates. It was wall-to-wall, 24 hours, yeah. just talking about. And then suddenly they switch on a dime, and it's all Epstein. And it's like that never happened. There's not even a shadow or an echo of what they were talking about before, now it's all 24-hour Epstein. And you got people who have, you know, obviously were booked before, and now they have to talk about Epstein. They have no opinion on it. Yeah, here's, here, this is fun. This is fun. Um, Bobby Slayton. Come, Bobby Slayton is fun. Comes to New York on many an occasion for one thing or another, right? As well he should. And he will call me and say, I can't see you. Because he always feels guilty about the fact that he's so filled up he can't see me. So he calls me to well, that's, say, I can't, that's I, I can't see you. Yeah. And, and he always talked about the fact that he was staying at this apartment that this guy owned in this apartment house that he owned. In other words, he had an apartment where people could go and stay if they came to town. And uh, this guy was a big fan of Bobby's and always let him stay there. So Bobby never had to pay for a hotel or anything like that right. when he came to New York. Uh, uh, do you know who the guy was? No. Yes, Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> so I oh, get a, I get a, I get a text from Bobby. Uh, he's in Spain. Was in Spain doing a movie with Woody Allen. How does it make you feel about your little movie? Anyway, he was making a movie with Woody Allen, and uh, just a little part. And um, uh, he texts me and he says, uh, "Well." Epstein is dead. Uh, Epstein, no, Epstein is arrested. Okay, that was when he got arrested. He said, I guess there goes my apartment in New York. And I, I wrote him back. And he, then he called me from Spain to say, yeah, he was the guy who put me up all the time at, the, at this apartment. He's the guy who introduced me to Woody. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And uh, so when Epstein committed suicide i texted him i am so sorry for your loss if you need a place to stay i've got a (laughs) a guest you get a bedroom i don't have an apartment but i have a bedroom (laughs) well he immediately calls me back but he also texts back he said well i'd stay in your guest room but that means i have to have dinner with you and i don't want to do that But anyway, so Epstein was this guy who he, he knew. He said, he you know, at Epstein's place. he said, you know, Epstein always had young girls around him, but they weren't underage, you know. Um, he liked them younger, but you know, they weren't they weren't children, you know. So what do you, you know? That that so I'm six degrees now from yeah from Epstein. Yeah. No, that's only two but, degrees. But he kills himself. Yeah. Sixth year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. I should really check those uh, videos before I play them. 
Uh, I don't know what happened at the end there. All of a sudden, it just went, boom, it was out. So I'm going to have to go back and check it and see what was wrong with it because I thought it was in good shape. But I, I wanted to play that so that you could hear Will one more time. He was a regular on our show every three weeks, and uh, we really enjoyed having him on here, and he, we've always enjoyed him as a comedian. Um, he's, they still need money. Uh, they took, got, made a lot of money last year. They raised a lot of money last year on GoFundMe, but they need more because uh, he's not... He needs more therapy, a lot of therapy. And the therapy has stopped for the time being because they don't have the money to pay for it. So if you go over to my Facebook page, uh, facebook.com forward slash A Bennett, uh, you will see a link there. Uh, don't get bothered by what it says above it about, oh, well, you know, you can start your own GoFundMe page on Facebook because they threw that in there when I put it on Facebook. God, I hate these social media companies. They're just terrible. Anyway, um, guess who's here? I've got, um, I've, I've got. Uh, let me see here. I've got, I've got to go to the Zoom panel. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. There's Charlie Wallace. Let me add uh, Brian, and let me add Phil, and let me add Jeff um, Stein. At least for starters here, that should get us going tonight. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, uh, I hope you enjoy. I, I'm sorry that the video froze up. I, you know, uh, I, I, I don't know why. I, 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 I ran it originally, and it seemed to work. But who knows? Who knows? Anyway, let me see here. Admit Rob and admit uh, Robert Natali as well. Uh, and a good evening to them as well. Uh, hello, Robert. Hello, <laughs> Rob. Gee, no. They're, they're doing it in alphabetical order, I guess. Huh? Uh, anyway, um, anybody watching uh, the uh, Love Fest over there at the Republican oh, Party? Oh, no. huh? Malaria is on right now. Huh? Malaria is on right now. What's on right now? Malaria. Oh, Melania. Melania. Trump. Melania. Melania. Malaria. You call malaria. her malaria. malaria. Yeah, I watched her, and <clears throat> I have to admit she reads a teleprompter better than Trump does, but uh, she reminds me of Bela Lugosi when he was playing Dracula, and he couldn't speak English, so they had it all spelled out phonetically for him on cards, and he would go, Good evening. I am Count Dracula. Right? And that's what she sounded like. She sounded like Bela Lugosi playing Dracula. You know. Uh, but she's a little easier on the eyes than most of those old farts who've been up there. And uh, then er early tonight they had Eric Trump. He's a brain trust, isn't he? Yeah. You know. uh, why do you send your, 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 uh, your special child out there to give a speech? I have no idea. <laughs> you know. No one else will speak? Uh huh? Because no one else will speak. Well, yeah, right, exactly. Got to fill the time somewhere. It. Yeah, where are all his big movie stars, you know? Uh, <laughs> there must be a couple of country artists who we never heard of. Who, who yeah, Kid really Rock. Be there. Huh? Kid Rock, the Kid. Mr. Pillow guy. But was he there? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying those are his supporters that are famous. Yeah. Mr. Pillow, Kid Rock, and uh, yeah, yeah, the basketball yeah. player there. I was so ashamed that former cowboy Herschel Walker was there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, look, you know, uh, some people are just stupid when it comes to politics, like Phil. So I, I was proud of Herschel Walker and the other people that spoke. I, I thought that uh, uh, it showed a side to Trump that you guys ch tend to ignore. What? The lying <laughs> side? The side that they're making is a myth? No, uh, the side that's the truth. Ah, the yeah. truth. I always forget you know the truth. No yeah, you know the does. truth. You know him personally, so you know that's all true. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I, I can tell when it's the truth and when it's uh, oh. bullshit. And, you know, I, I watched it uh, on CNN for a while, and they had uh, Wolf Blitzer and the rest of those guys in there and they did any like you did anything you could do to tear down the positive image no i'll tell you what they were doing 
they, they were doing their responsibility to the public. And that was, it, they were trying to point out what were outright lies in the yeah. speeches by lie. people. And, well, and which, by the way, if you are a, a license holder of a radio station, for instance, Rob, you can back me up on this one. You're responsible for not letting lies go out on your airwaves. I, I don't that used to be true. Me lies. Hmm? Rob says yeah, that you could be lies in Trump's speech yesterday alone. Did you hear that whole thing he did with the uh, with the uh, convalescent plasma the other day? And now it turns uh -huh. out the head of the CDC has recanted and said it's not so. But he's uh, against the emergency. Uh, yeah, he said that he was wrong in his assessment of the covid, uh, uh, the uh, convalescent plasma. And that it isn't as successful as they thought, as they played it out to be. Uh, Trump said it was 35 percent. It was 35 percent of people who fit into certain categories, not people who were dying. Details, details. Details, details. Yeah, so there's just there's just a good example of a lie. And today, the head of the CDC felt it was his responsibility to clear up what had been said. Uh, did you hear that uh, Trump cured cancer? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You, uh, I'm sure he's claiming it. Did you hear all the nonsense about religious freedom? Yeah. Did, did yeah. we, uh, well, did we get a chance nonsense. to ask our Muslim I, friends? I, about I'll tell that? you one thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm one reason I'm thinking very definitely of voting for Joe Biden is he's going to he's going to kill religion, and that's fine with me. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> you know, religion has not worked out well for this world, and I'm for anybody who wants to do yeah. away with it. And according to Trump, he wants to, so he gets my vote. Right, Rob? Mm -hmm. Right, Robert? <laughs> yeah. Yes. How about Religious John? Religious freedom is just code word for anti-LGBTQ. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You guys would, would vote for an upside-down goldfish if it wasn't Donald Trump. You're right. You're, You're right. right. You're and absolutely you got a better shot. Right. Yeah, but what are you going to be left and, with? And that upside-down goldfish could probably read a teleprompter better than if Trump. If your can. guy wins, what are you going to be left with? He's 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 being pumped so full of Araset. That uh, as soon as he, if he gets it's elected, it's not Aricept, Phil. It's Aricept. Aricept. Get your oh, drugs. Close correctly. enough, like Trump facts. Yeah, well, Aricept. Like Trump. Just yeah, half the facts. Meanwhile, work. you know close his enough. eyes are 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 open. Oh, oh. He's not blinking anymore. Oh, oh this, is, this is this is uh, this is this is your argument. Well, this is your argument. Wait a minute. Looks, it seems he doesn't have an argument against Biden because the only thing he can come up with is a, a ageist concept of what this he, man is going is through. Empty shell of a man. You know So are you, you Phil? Phil. So a are box you the cheese. Yeah. <laughs> I would vote the, for. The lady the, the lady tonight, Pam uh, Bondi, she yeah. started in this detailed story about how people in the family were getting rich off his his work. Yeah. And that people who had no experience were getting the jobs. And I was like, that's Trump's full MO. Yeah, yeah. Yep. How yeah. many Republicans does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know how many. Uh, the answer is none. Trump says he did it, and Republicans applaud. <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh. we don't have light bulbs anymore, thanks to the Democrats. Yeah, well, we oh, have right, to, uh, and no suburbs. Uh, no, I got to move looking. now. No more suburbs. No suburbs but yeah. no more. Yeah. Phil, now, Phil, now how do you how do you feel how, how do you feel about the fear tactics, Phil? Do you really feel that Joe Biden wants to do away with religion? I don't think Joe Biden knows what he Phil, wants. Phil, I ask you a question. I You're think not Joe answering. Biden is just. The, no, a, Phil, you didn't, not an answer. you didn't I, answer I answered, the question. No, we didn't. With Bernie. I asked you if you felt he wanted to do away with religion as it's being claimed by these Republicans on the dais. Pro I don't think so. Okay, well then, <laughs> bravo, Phil. Bravo. Mark this day in history. I know. Another <laughs> false false statement coming from no but uh, there's a lot of people like you uh sitting here that would like to do away with it and i don't know why i mean religion keeps people in line you think so i think religion all religion does is create more there, more there racism of, and and, yeah. and separatism and i'm better than you and you're wrong and i'm right well, you know i i have most of the wars are fought over religion yep no i i understand what you're saying 
all the uh, because no, you, you know, don't. some people that think that their religion is better than somebody else's religion. And yes, that is divisive. But if you keep uh, if, if people actually went to church and listened to mm. the message mm -hmm. that so, they were being given, do you think they should go uh, to so, church, Phil? Excuse me. Do you think people should go to church? I think a lot of them should. I'm, yeah. I, I'm, How about Donald Trump? He's never been inside one because he's afraid of bursting in front of one the other day. In front of one the other day. You're lucky yeah, that Bible didn't he burst set off into the, flames. the smoke bombs to get there. Yeah. How about that? Uh, how about a big shot of Shoyden Freud for that dude? Uh, what's his name? Falwells Jr.? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Another yeah, phony. You know, it, it's, it's, you guys are like... And the kid who drops his tray in the cafeteria, you're all laughing you know, at. I, I'm sick no, no, of no, Phil, no, no. Phil. Fal I am Fal I, wait a minute, hold on a second. Falwell, let me tell Falwell. you, Falwell has been raging against homosexuals and it, from his father all the way to him, he re, re, you know, and now it's after him. You know, it's just, Look, it's the just guy is a freak. horrible irony, you know. No, I, it is ironic. The guy's a little okay, bit of Phil, a freak. Calm, I guess calm, like this calm, be his wife making with some good looking Get, kid. Did you forget about Jimmy Swagger? The same thing, caught with the, the hooker and asked the 13-year-old daughter to join him. Jim Baker. And Jim Baker, Baker and his yeah. Well, uh, his I'm going to, I will defend Jim Baker. I will defend yeah. him because Jim Baker was the least... Uh, 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 disreputable of the bunch, oddly enough. He got set up, you said. He, well, there were a lot of, yeah, he got... Uh, he, he got he set up with, with what's her name? Uh, no. Uh, with, he never with, lied about what he was doing with the money. He said, hey, look at man, I need this money. I used to, to watch that show every day. He showed the gold <laughs> faucets funny. in the hotel, you know. <laughs> he, um, he, uh, uh, he, he asked people to send money in, and he would build a Christian theme park. And they sent the money in, and by God, he built this huge yeah. Christian amusement park. Yeah. You know, and for whatever you say about him, because uh, the problem was is that money got stolen because money came in in cash into this one room, and guys who were not Baker, but other guys, would just walk in, stuff their pockets with the money. I thought he you know. sold 125% of the... Uh of the theme park there it was like no it had, no moves. no it was time shares it was time I'm shares sure. yeah so it was more sold than could exist it, well yes but he figured he figured land? by the time they all wanted it he would have built the the existing ability for time shares but the point is the two of them did a great entertaining tv show every day i mean they had the goods and they did it you know, but uh, uh, on the in the case of uh, Swagger, I'll tell you what happened. Falwell, Swagger, and I can't remember. I think there was one other preacher, all colluded against Baker because yeah. he had something they wanted. You know what that was, Phil? Cabinet. Close. Uh, no, it was it was the uh, the uh, satellite. He was the guy who thought up the idea. I'll buy a transponder on a satellite. And I will then be able to put my show out to all these stations across the country that have satellite receivers. And uh, as that got to be a big thing, all these other guys who hadn't done it wanted those, that, those satellites. And he wouldn't give them time on his satellite because he did it for all his shows and things like that. So when he got into trouble, Falwell jumped in and said, look, sign over your company to me. And as soon as you're out of this, out of the woods on this thing, I'll just simply sign it back to you. And so Baker stupidly signed it over to Falwell. Falwell took it and ran with Swaggart and uh, took it away from him. And when he said, "Okay, give it back to me," uh-uh, you sign the papers. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's yeah. funny. Was you, in a, you, a documentary. I saw that that documentary. I can't remember what it was, was called. Was there a documentary about it? I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, That's Rob. What you, you, gonna say? you tell this story about the supposedly these religious good people screwing other people, right? Mm -hmm. I have a good friend mm -hmm. who opened, who, who, who petitioned the FCC mm -hmm. for a, uh, a low-power FM license, mm -hmm. put his radio station on the air, programmed it himself for a long time, realized he couldn't program it and also go out and sell it in one-man band, so he decided he would LMA it. 
So he LMA. LMA explain LMA because people don't know what we're it's, talking about. It's a local market or a licensed marketing. What happens agreement. is somebody owns a radio station. They don't want to run it, so they they lease it out to somebody else to use. Right. So they, they, yeah. So now he and he he LMA's it to a local church. Men of the cloth, right? Yep. They fucked him. <laughs> he what? lost the station. They just they just fucked him over big time. He's like, I I I have to figure I'm doing business with a church, and then they turned around and screwed me, and he got he 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 had a fight like a son of a bitch to get his station back. Well, you and know, I, I when when it's it's a business, yeah. the Catholic yeah. Church. Yep, they're all, all of these. They're businesses, and they're just as cutthroat as IBM and any other big business. Amazon, you name it. I think maybe if more, big, but and if, maybe if, more if, exactly. If, if so you're big, arguing for religion? If, no, if, if I, I'm faith is different. Alex was trying to say something. If, 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 if Baker was guilty of anything, it was mismanagement of the company and not watching what other people were doing, because he, you know, I used to watch a lot of their shows because they were entertaining. I'll give you a good example. They had Tammy Faye's house party. You know, there were all these shows, and they were entertaining as hell. Uh, and and uh, I felt that at least he was doing something with all the money people were sending in. All Falwell would do was get the money and sit there and pocket it. Uh, uh, Swaggart was even worse. Yes, Phil. Uh, to answer, Rob, uh, I'm not arguing for religion. Uh Religion is one way of keeping people in line to do the right thing. I, for one, no, always it know or no, knew. No, it isn't. It's a, right it, it's a way of keeping people in line, period, not to yeah, do the well, right I, thing. I always well, knew what the right thing was and, and did well, it. apparently you I don't would, because you voted for Trump. <laughs> no, that's not it. You know, Trump it's a pretty simple thing. Uh, some things keep people in line. I always said that if what I did... Why do you want to keep people in line? Why don't you try and teach people how to keep themselves in line? Well, and, and, you, you, know? you can't keep everyone in line. Yes, without, you can. Because they, they, there's nope. a certain level... Nobody that, ever made rules for me, and I did fine. I, was I understand. Not, you know? I understand. And, and for me either. But, you know, I always said, you know, I would rather do the right thing than the wrong thing. If what I did was the headlines of tomorrow's paper and I wouldn't be proud of it, I wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, uh, but other people don't think that way and need to be told what to do. There, there are leaders and there are followers. Well, you you're, you're everybody yeah, be a leader. You, you have a very, uh, Hitler felt that, too. Oh, yeah. So, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the idea is... Some people would get their direction from religion. Now, do I believe that that was the best way to get it? Probably not. But, you know, on the other hand, if it worked for them, yeah. I'm not going to begrudge them. Yes, John. I, I've been reading, uh, and I heard there's a rumor going around that, uh, that Trump blackmailed uh, Falwell uh, to, to get him to back him when he was running for president back in, in 16 because uh, Michael Cohen had those the dirty photos and and and, uh, and then right right when there an article came out about this alleged mm -hmm. relationship but it didn't say any you know it just kind of it didn't say anything for sure mm -hmm. but then right after that Falwell changed and backed Trump and that's how Trump got elected he got the, the Christians to, to yeah he did he brought all the Christian people yeah, all the pr Christian exactly. leaders in, yeah. in under the tent yeah yeah. So that's going to be a great story when it comes out. Well, they may they may all be abandoning Trump, just saying you sold us the goods before Falwell, but look what you turned out to be. Yeah. 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 Um, but you know, it's just this this. It, Trump's it, so dirty. He's just filthy. Well, I just think what they you know to begin with, I don't approve of them using the the Rose Garden or any part of the White House for politicking. That's the people's house. You and I own that, and it's not supposed to be used for politics. And so you don't do your 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 fundraising in the Rose Garden. Okay. Also, you've got a um, a, a Secretary of State. Do you know no Secretary of State has spoken in mm -hmm. front of a convention 
right. a political convention for 75 years. And when one finally does, he does it on the taxpayers' dollars from, uh, where was he tonight, Israel or someplace like that? He specifically yeah. said that he didn't use any taxpayer He dollars. somehow and got oh, over there. How did he get over citizen. there? Was he over there on business, Phil? Yeah, I don't know. He, he said he spoke as a citizen and it's, not uh, as... Fuck uh, him uh, speaking as a citizen. There is yeah. a law, there's a rule at the State Department that no one in the State Department can come out for political parties. Well, it's he was nothing. not a party. There, there, there is overseas. a rule at the State Department. He is the when Secretary of State that you can't do this kind of thing. When you're, no. when you're representing the United States, you're not representing the Republicans. You're representing the, uh, the United States. So if you're the State Department, no, nobody, no Secretary of State's ever appeared at a... Uh, well, I guess they have now. Yeah, well, nothing that's, that's matters just anymore. How dirty Trump is. Decorum out the window. Uh, Tradition out the window. Rioting, yeah. protesting, burning down. Uh, there are two hands up here. Shut up, Phil. There are two people. There are two people who have hands up. Yeah. Well, yeah. Take you know. Have a, have a little courtesy for them, Charlie. And then Brian. Just like no uh, attorney general a ever acted like the president's personal lawyer before either. Yeah. Bill Barr acts that way every day. Yep. Brian. And they said that there's never been a former president that didn't speak at the convention. This year there isn't. There's no old president that's speaking. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, wow. ooh. You're right. There is no Bush there. There is. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I wonder why. I wonder why, uh, exactly. Well, <laughs> well, the Bushes have already said they were going to vote for Biden. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So, uh, yeah, they're all yeah. in the same swamp together. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't matter if it's a D or an R when it if, comes to Bush or any of those other. Uh, uh, if that's the swamp, what is where swamp. Trump is in with all the people that are going to prison around them? Yeah. What is that? If that's the swamp. That's lower than this. Wow. That's the swamp going after any little item. Can you say that you're so clean? Little item. Couldn't find one little thing on you. They're going to put me in jail I don't for think it? anybody could. Oh, they can accuse anybody of Phil, anything. Phil, how many people, how many people that have worked in the White House with Donald Trump in one capacity or another have been arrested? A few. A few? A few. A few. <laughs> yeah. Come on. That's be, uh, you know, wait till they go after Biden and his son, you know, they for the corruption that he did as vice president. They, they, they've they had the FBI didn't just disappear. They, they've been able to go after Biden. There's nothing there. They didn't yeah. do anything yeah. wrong. Well, we'll see. All of a sudden okay. it's coming out that the FBI did a lot wrong. Uh, oh, yeah. Including right. their Pfizer reports and and yeah. the Steele dossier, which you guys so uh, gallantly jumped on. Uh, did I jump on it, Phil? Phil, did yeah, I jump jumped on it. it. You love the peeing on the with the hookers. Well, I and, believe it. Uh, yeah, I, of I course. believe it too. You believe a uh, miss. You believe the lie. So do you. You, you, be lie. you believe every lie Trump tells, Phil. Yeah. Don't accuse I, me of believing the lie. Don't accuse me of believing the lie if you keep believing the lies yourself. Okay, just tonight I said uh, when asked if I believe that Biden uh, uh, didn't believe uh, in uh, wanted to get rid of religion, and I said, no, I don't believe that. Now, you know, just tonight, you know, so there's one example, uh, and, uh, you know, and your example is, is, is peeing hookers, you know. <laughs> So I'm conceding to the Republican Party. The Senate Intelligence Committee, led by Republicans, wrote a 966-page report, which in effect says that Trump perjured himself to Robert Mueller's people when he was given written questions to answer. That's not me saying that. That's the Senate Intelligence Committee, led by Republicans. 966-page report. Have not so seen that. You're right. I oh, side with the Republicans. 25 questions. You know. And he said he never had contact with Roger Stone regarding WikiLeaks, and that proved not to be true. 
Well, because Roger Stone, he said that he didn't have the WikiLeaks contacts. Well, then the Republican led. Did I hear this myself is the Republicans, say that? Republicans, Republicans, Phil. I did. Senate Intelligence Committee uh, found I'll, out why. I'll have, to, I'll have to look that up because Wait I mean, you'll have to look it up, true. Phil. It's been in the news for the been last the five for days. Well, it's not in the news that I hear. Well, because you well, don't listen to the not. news. Not. Of course, because you don't not. real Fox news. news it's in the fake news. Oh, it's oh, in real? the fake news. 966 oh, page report. That's such a convenient would you, line. Would you Led by your Wait people. Minute. Would you consider Fox fake news, Phil? Fox? Yeah. Sometimes. Is it's it? not even news. <laughs> It's oh, oh it's Trump fake. Propaganda. But I definitely because, consider because CNN they, re they reported and they, they reported the Senate here, the Senate, uh, 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 what is it? Report. Intelligence Committee. Intelligence yeah. Committee report. I haven't seen that. Well, why don't you go look at it, Phil? I'm, I'm looking now. Well, you're looking now. You don't believe it exists, I see. Hey, yes, well, yes well, John. Well, Phil's looking that up. I just, just off topic, um, had a friend of mine who passed away from COVID. Um, well, she she worked with me at the. Uh, she was an usher, and I just we just heard about it last week. It was kind of wow. shocking. But anyway. Yeah. How how are things going out there in California? With uh, um, it, San Francisco's you know pretty dead. Everything's closed up. Yeah, still. but I mean, how's the how's the uh, he, you well, know the thing that's happened here in New York? I got to tell you this. This is fascinating. Uh, and I said to Marjorie the other day that this was true. Let me just go find this, the exact numbers on this. Here we go. The total number of hospitalizations remains low. Yesterday, there were 488 total hospitalizations. It's gone as low as, I think, 470, maybe even a little bit lower than that. Of the 67,000, uh, 255 tests reported yesterday, 629 or 0.94% were positive. The 18th straight day of positive infection rate under 1%. We, and we lost two New Yorkers. So when you look at that, does New York have a COVID problem? Not really. You know. Uh, yeah, you guys pretty much taking care of it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, no one wants to learn from it and copy it. Nope. Yeah. No, I never hear Trump How get on the air that? and say, hey, by the way, congratulations, New York. You really brought that figure How down. How fucked up is that? By the way, let's all look at New York's model and see how we can apply it nationally. No, he but, never once brings up New York. So Unreal. yesterday they had a little montage of people and they had Cuomo there saying, oh, the president's done everything. Yeah, he cut. He edited that yeah. up so he looked really good. That, that, that's that's when. Uh, that's when he sent up, up the ship. He yeah. went down, begged for it, got the ship up here, and and uh, did the Javits Center and the uh, Corps of Engineers were brought in to help build it. Okay, uh, and he got on and he said, you know, I have a lot of problems with Donald Trump and so on, but I have to thank him for what he's done for New York in this particular case, and that's what they play. Since yeah. then, he has just savaged him for not doing anything where COVID is concerned in the country and said the other day, this was a great one, he said, the China virus, it's the European virus that we got here. You know, what's with this China virus? It's a European virus. And it's true, the virus we're getting, we got on the East Coast is different than the virus they got on the West Coast. Didn't it originate in China and then go to Europe and then come here? We don't know. No. Well, we don't know, Phil. We really don't know. But it, it, it cropped up in China. Yes. But it, we don't know that it started in China. You know, I mean, it's kind of like the Spanish flu never started in Spain. It started on an air base here, in, uh, army base here in the United States. Hey, I heard, I heard something about... That that they came from some those animals called pangolins or something. They think they think it may have come from that. Did you read that today? No. I saw. I didn't read it, but I saw something about it somewhere. Yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't matter where it came from. The fact is that once it got here, we didn't do anything about it. You know, uh, he he was absent from the table. He didn't even believe we had a problem till you know, uh, fifty thousand people were dead already. You know, so, I mean, 
uh, but I like what 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 uh, Cuomo said the other day that you know calling it the Chinese virus. Hey, it's it, it could be called the European virus because that's where we got it from. How's it ha how's it going in your area, Kevin? Uh, as far as the uh, COVID or the, the COVID, smoke? COVID. How about the fire? Well, let's, we'll yeah. get to the fire in a second. Right. Uh, COVID, we've got seven cases now. There are seven deaths and 987 confirmed cases. And that's it's where? Up. That's in? That's, up. that's in our county. That's in your county, which it's is? Gone up. It's gone up quite a bit for the last few weeks, actually. Mm -hmm. So, um, we were down there pretty low, and then it started climbing up, like right around, I think around Father's Day, it started going yeah. up, and it hasn't gone down. How about fires? Fires, they're going down a little bit. Yeah, they're they have. Starting to hit containment. Mm -hmm. I went down to Monterey today for doctor's appointments, and it was actually kind of clear. It was a lot of overcast. Yeah. And uh, there was there was smoke, but it wasn't real heavy. The overcast, the overcast and we actually got rain on sunday for a little bit which helped but there's still there's still a lot of burning going on brian how's how, how's it in your neck of the woods yeah same here i went outside actually for a little bit and uh the smoke had, has gone away a lot so and and the smoke physically outside yeah some fog coming in cooler temperatures now too so that's good especially yeah. with the firemen and stuff yeah, we, we, we had a, <clears throat> our CEO, our president does a, uh, a call every month, and so he did his yesterday. And uh, actually, we're doing a lot of work with all the vaccines. So uh, Johnson Johnson, Moderna, all these other companies were donating all the yeah. cartridges to help check vaccines and do all their testing. Mm -hmm. So pretty good. Yeah. How do you think that's coming along? Do you think uh, we're going to see a... Uh, a, a nice. I still think it's six months away, but they're, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, I was uh, pushing your uh, your company, Brian, to a friend of mine that's uh, with John Muir Hospital Emergency Rooms. And mm -hmm. he was saying that, you know, testing is really needed. And, uh, you know, I, I told him about your company. He said he'd heard of it. Uh, did you guys sell the John Muir system? I don't know. I know John Hopkins we do. I've, I've toured those guys around before. And then also, I know that we just had a, a video clip. They had some uh, children's hospital over near you, Alex, some really big children's hospital, and they showed uh, uh, a lot of testing we do over there for their kids. For Excuse the bags under my eyes tonight, folks, but I'm having allergies today. It's just mm -hmm. terrible. Just I went for my third test today. My last one only took just barely three or four days to get back. Is this for COVID? Yes. Yeah. Why'd you get another test? I'm starting to watch my mom, so I'm trying to keep an eye on it a little closer. So that's why you're getting the test? Yeah. 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 Okay. If I go out somewhere or go somewhere that's kind of off the wall, I'll go get tested. Yeah. So it takes him now how fast to get back to you? Four days? It was three or four days the last test I took a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. I went to the dentist today and this morning, and uh, first they gave you the temperature check. Then... They made you fill out this form. They called me the day before to ask me if I'd been around anybody with COVID, if I knew anybody with COVID, you know. And, and, and then this morning, they had the same questions, and I had a sign and date. Uh, you know, they're being very careful as to uh, how uh, they clean. And I went for teeth cleaning. You know, they have a thing like that's like a vacuum cleaner that they put up there. So when they use mm -hmm. the Habitron. Yeah. And, your, I went uh, and had my teeth cleaned today, too. Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, my crown put in. Uh, and uh, they didn't do anything. They just said, come on in, sit down, take off your mask so we can work on your mouth. Oh, they actually charged They didn't me. take your temperature at all? No. No. Oh, and they also charge $15 more for all the PPE uh, uh, that's used during the cleaning. Oh, and, really? And they didn't do that with me. I, and then there was another device that I held here that suck things in and then they had the vacuum cleaner yeah, thing. But they've been using that for years where who, who, who's your dentist yeah. some caveman somewhere i mean they, come on well, no they they didn't need all of those things they just used to put the little thing in there the trouble with the them. trouble with the sucker lux is they put the thing in your mouth and then uh, it, it gets stuck to your upper lip and then it sucks half no, the flesh out of it the thing i'm talking about this thing looked like a vacuum cleaner 
And it was a separate thing that they turned on, and it was loud like an airplane engine. And uh, it, it, uh, they put it near your mouth so that any moisture uh, that it got airborne would be sucked in. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Aerosol. Yeah, this, this wasn't the little, uh, the little thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, the little tube. Well, uh, yeah, I also became a Tony. A what? I went and got certified as a caregiver for my mom, so oh. I'm a Tony oh. now. Oh, oh, really? You're a Tony? Do you get paid yeah, for I'm it? Tony. Do you get paid for it? Not yet. I'm not worried about getting paid for it. Hell, but Tony's it turned me, paper. It gets me into my mom's place because I can't go visit her. So now the, the only thing, I'm a, an essential caregiver, I can go visit her. <clears throat> the only thing that's keeping Tony from killing his mother is the fact that he makes a living off of her. Yeah, that's right. You know. Yeah, yeah. well, she hasn't got that bad yet. <laughs> maybe, maybe he did kill her, and yeah. he's just pretending she's still alive, so he gets the check in the best of both worlds. Would he ever say? Nah, I'm not Tony. Huh? So he's Robert, using the show doesn't, doesn't live with me either. The Robert, did you, um, uh, Robert, did you, uh, did you watch any of the convention? Uh, some, very little. You know, um, it's pretty, uh, pretty it. annoying. I mean, it's just the same crap he says. Only other people are saying it. Yeah, it's well. It, I, I have to admit that it, at least physically on screen, is well produced. It looks, yeah. it looks good. Uh, Although I, it looked good to me initially, and then I realized that they're using the same set for everybody's speech. I thought, oh, hey, that's good. Now if they have another one somewhere else and another one somewhere else. But uh, and I don't know where they did that. I don't think it was at a national monument or anything. But uh, I, a lot of them, I think it was, a, it was either a museum or a university. Yeah, but in, it was in the any Mellon event, Auditorium or something. after yeah, a while, cool. that got to be a little... A little tiresome but know? also they're at the white house and there's there's a number of them that are uh you know offset but uh, i thought it was produced very well that was one of the comments that you had made last week that uh you know they hadn't had much time to put it well together. they hadn't had much time to think about it you know and, uh, and really i know really what shows that phil is their choice of people to speak because they're all basically insiders in the family. I mean, you have Guilfoyle last night, that fat pig. Uh, well, what about the uh, AG from Kentucky and uh, uh, the the football player Herschel Walker? And you know, I mean, there were there were a lot of people, and and, and the guy whose daughter was we can all do this Parkland, uh, at the Parkland School, uh, Meadow, whatever, and. Uh, yeah, no, I, I mean, and what about Trump and his his daughter and his son yeah, and his son tonight? His tonight you had his son, his wife, jump. and his uh, his uh, uh, his Girlfriend. other daughter. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah Tiffany. Uh, Tiffany. You know, she, she did a good job. I've never heard her speak before. And she didn't speak. She screamed. No, no, that was oh, that was the other lady. Oh, Gilfoyle, oh, God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus uh, Christ. They, they said that that was impacting. But uh, <laughs> did you see DJ uh, Junior? He looked like he was coked out of his head. Oh yeah, which which which? which it, oh, you mean Junior? Yeah, his fucking Boston. eyes were like little slits. His jaw was yeah. all off to the side. <laughs> he he looked stone, but he was he looked stone, but he was talking too fast. Well, yeah. let's Cardi look. B look. Was was it Cardi B with those nails? Now that that was that was quality. You know that you know. What's you wrong with those nails? Her. What's wrong with the nails? What? Oh, come on, she looked like an animal, uh, and and the other one doing well the because spirit? she's a black woman. That's why she looked like an animal to you. Uh, hey, you're you're insinuating. Uh, I'm not you know, insinuating. I'm listening to what are. you say, and it sounds racist. You have nails that are. It sounds racist, and they're, and, and they're pointed. She looks it, like an animal, an Phil. Animal. You said she's come in on. show business. What do you expect animal. people in show business? Well, it has nothing to do with black. He's you know, yes, it does, he, Phil. That's the, <laughs> Hey, look! <laughs> You're a racist. If you weren't, if you weren't a racist, you'd see why Trump is. Trump's not a racist, and there's enough people came to his side to say that. And uh, <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? You're yeah. using a Nazi. Uh, 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 oh, oh, I see. Now I'm a Nazi. Am I a Nazi, Phil? Am I a Nazi, Phil? 
you're using a Nazi method. No, to... I'm not using a Nazi method. And speaking oh, of Nazi methods, come on, you're for the guy who uses it's Nazi called, methods. Well, All right, slow down, Phil. You don't have to, you know, talk hey, Phil, all the time. Think of how many more people could have spoken if they weren't in jail? Think how many more people could have spoken if Phil had shut up for a while. Well, he'll pardon them. He just pardoned the guy. Uh, yeah, but there yeah. wasn't enough time to go Not speak enough time. to the, the Republican uh, convention. But, you know, there was a there was a guy who was a, uh, a jail advocate or something that uh, he pardoned the other day, or, or he pardoned on TV. You know, uh, he they, they they tried to do a big speech. I think mean, Trump Jr. did a speech about I don't know about law and order and things like that. I didn't see it, but nowhere did anybody mention. This horrible shooting of a black man in, yeah. uh, where was it? Um, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Kenosha, Wisconsin. Did, I did mean, I, just, just horrible. Black in the back, shot in the back seven, seven times. times. Six times. Six times. Phil, did don't I, try to, de <laughs> Phil, do not try to defend that. We, I, what, I, I we, have a police video. I've, uh, I saw it from two or three different angles and that guy was pushed down on the front seat of the car and shot point blank seven times well what i what i saw wouldn't you think if you if, I, what he's what, what going you, to the car to get a gun they have it on video uh he 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 was told not to he went to the car he grabbed something and they shot him uh, they, they have to shoot that's him not the seven. Training. That's not the training, though, Phil. Phil, Phil not did, the did, did they have the to? Tasers. Did they have to shoot him seven times, Phil? That's uh, not the training. Not those those guys had their guns when they're going around the car. Why didn't they have those guns in their holster and they tackle them? What happened to tasers? Oh, he, they tried to deploy the taser and it didn't work. Oh, it's so you shoot him so seven? Them. Wouldn't you think one bullet would be enough, Phil? <laughs> that's not. Oh, it's not. I don't want you on any police department. I'm near Phil. Yeah. Well, they did what they believed was right. Now, if they you over... ha you haven't heard their side of the story yet, you're already finding them innocent. I what well, I saw looked terrible, just terrible. I'll try and find it and send it. To you. Send what? Uh, he didn't I have a gun. Didn't know. Yeah, are you, uh, of the, uh, well, don't of the, Phil, don't send me stuff because every time you send me stuff, you claim it has something and then it doesn't. Then you know, it, you, you, you interpret it, it and then you send it to me and you don't read the whole thing or read every line of it or how they how they couch their statements. I don't want to see it, Phil. Uh, how many yeah, cops yeah, were there? Yeah. There's like three. There's like three cops. You can't take, tell me like I was skinny. Who is it a big guy? How can they not handle one guy? If they can't do that, they should be And then be cops. they had three kids in the oh, back seat of the car who witnessed this shooting oh, yeah. and are going to have to spend the rest of their life witnessing that one of those kids it was his birthday every time he has a birthday for the rest of his yeah. life he's going to remember that phil already sent us stuff phil already sent yeah yeah uh, so, let me get what's Kevin. on it does the guy got a gun uh, he's got a knife and he's going phil for just sent it to me and you know what i'm going to do with it before delete. i even look at it i'm going to delete it yeah, let me see. Uh, that's movement. because you don't want to know the truth. But, no, because I, I can find crap like this anywhere I want to on the internet. Okay. So. Yeah. Well, there it is, and it and it shows shows the knife. Uh, it shows them uh, pointing, the, uh, trying to deploy the taser. Yeah, I mean and, a knife, uh, a knife, and they use seven bullets to stop a guy with a knife. Well, do you know why they? Phil, how know why respon they how irresponsible is that? And they said why they, they shot, shot him, him in the back. Please no. don't defend that, Phil, especially as someone who considers him to be himself to be at least a part-time cop. Okay. They said that the police deployed a taser and it failed, uh, as they're prone to do. Oh, so we'll 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 shoot him in the back seven times. <laughs> well, why didn't they shoot him in the knees? Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Is shoot him in the, in the knee? Car. He said he had a gun in the car, and he, they was told not to go near the car, not to. And Phil, bullet. seven and bullets. How do you excuse seven bullets? Shoot him in the knee. How do you know. excuse it? Come I, on. I, I want to hear an excuse for that, Phil. I, I, I'll tell you the excuse. I don't know what was necessary to stop the threat. Maybe the guy was all hopped up on PCP and... Oh, oh, oh now you're making, now you're making um, assumptions. Uh, you're making, know. Phil, you're making assumptions. And that's wrong, especially in this case. Phil. And I won't hear of it. I won't hear of it, Phil. Phil, Phil because you're making assumptions. 
All we know is what we saw, and that was a guy pushed into the car and then shot seven times. Well, you Bill, can that know. can they be can they be Go can ahead. those guys be unskilled police, and that's the only way they could subdue them? I don't know. Is that is that the only thing? Because when I see that, how I see those police, and they were giving him the entryway to his car, they let him walk right around. That's not. It looked not, like his poor training. Not a cut. According to the uh, synopsis that I got, Mike, he didn't go uh, through their legs. Mike, he didn't go in between uh, them. He walked right around to his car. They gave him a, a clear yeah. path to his car. According to Mike, the cop, he said, "You don't, don't." And, uh, Mike, the cop. and he, and he went. You and just don't say "don't." That's not training. You well, don't say "don't." Or if exactly. you do, I'll shoot you. Why don't you read read what uh, the, the? By guy the way, wrote. somebody wrote on our chat tonight that Phil is out of control tonight. You are Phil. Fuck him. Fuck <laughs> her. <laughs> Yes, uh, yes, uh, Robert. I've been, uh, in the interest of fairness here, I've been terribly unfair. So in order to even the score, what I'd like to do is I'd like to, I have a copy right here of the Republican platform, which I will read aloud. Ready? I'm finished. (laughs) (laughs) We don't have one. There is no platform. There is no platform. Exactly. It's whatever Trump says it is. No, but your earlier no. question to me about watching the convention, frankly, in the interest of fairness, I didn't watch much of either because I don't think of them as conventions anymore. I think of them as coronations. I really do. Yeah. I yearn for the days back when I was a kid when there was bargaining on the floor and who is oh, doing yeah. this? Oh, yeah. Promising this vice presidential candidate in order to secure delegates. To me, those were fun. They uh, seemed like uh, politics in action. And there was Chicago a pl- pop for beating up the reporters. Platform fights. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's just a and sales then, convention is all it is. It's a sales exactly. convention. I used to look forward. I'm not a Democrat. I do lean left. But I used to look forward to hearing the platforms on both sides because I wanted to see what the proposed policies were going to be and just kind of maybe you know, lean this way or that way, or maybe have it open my eyes to a different idea here and there. That's no longer, that's no longer possible. That's where I said I missed having a good old fashioned over a beer discussion with a Republican. There aren't any Republicans anymore. There are Trumpites and you can't this, have this whole right thing this year really brings all that out too. Yes. It could have been. It could be. It could have been a little different. But this whole year, this year brings it all out. Yes. Yeah. Well, it, it's. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, we're uh, uh, the fact that the de- Republicans don't have a platform is amazing. I mean, usually you find that they have some kind of set of principles. They say, "Here's what we want to accomplish if we get elected in, back into office," and there is nothing like that. You know, the Democrats had it. You know, um, and as much as you you want the old days back, uh, I like those too. But that was another day and another time. Yeah, did you, you know, did you hear the lady talking about? I abortions? mean, nobody said you have to hold conventions. Okay, yeah. there's no rule in the Constitution that says you hold yeah. conventions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the did parties the, doing. What? Did you hear the lady talking about abortions? No. No. Yeah. Oh, Some yeah. lady worked for abortions and said that the spine she was supposed to have a quota that she was supposed to double her abortion people yeah. that she give abortions to this month, and there's a smell of abortions that people don't know. Yeah. Fuck. You also talked about uh, the uh, near birth abortion where uh, the spine of the oh. fetus was spinning around. It was pretty. Uh, uh, was that was that on the Republican side? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, uh, my wife was telling me that they, you know, they want to, they want uh, the Democrats want to have, you know, full term abortions. And that's such bullshit. It is it's just bullshit. Such bullshit. It's all bullshit. I mean, they, 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 the trouble is, is that the networks. There was a, an article today in the New York Times. Phil will call it fake news, that the networks are having a hard time covering the conventions because they feel a desire not to allow lying to go on, and the yep. complete mistruths, complete. Well, uh, uh, misrepresentations are being stated. It's not just advocacy, okay? That's that, that's one thing. But this is just plain lying, you know, uh, saying that uh, uh, you got Joe Biden, he's going to do away with religion or something like that. Yeah. Well, it's a, that's an absolute lie. 
okay. Yeah. Um, and, and people believe it, you, so that's why they say to, it. I don't know if you listen to C-SPAN or not, but I watch C-SPAN. I watch a convention on C-SPAN so you don't hear all the bullshit. Yeah. And afterwards, they have, you know, the Republican line and the and the, the Democrat line and the other line yeah. that people call in on it and they, they talk about what they just heard. And and these people are just feeding this. They're, they're believing this shit. Right. They're calling, the why they're they calling say in it. and they're saying, oh, well, I'm voting Republican because the Democrats want this shit and they want to kill kids and they want to, they want, you know, they believe this shit. Right. And That's I why they say just it. a few minutes ago, a Republican called in on the Democrat line because they wanted to call in on the Democrat line because they wanted to take up their space to say their Demo- their Republican bullshit on the Democrat line. And, and it was it was nuts. I mean, these people are believing this shit. Now it's starting to make me think, you know, maybe there are a bunch of nuts out there that are being silent and want this fucker back in there. Did you hear that lady they who are. said that that, that, that lady said that, that Trump was going to born, uh, I mean, uh, ban abortion drugs? What the fuck is an abortion drug? That's birth mm-hmm. control. I mean, yeah. you know, there's a drug, I guess, they can take after, the morning after pill. Yeah. The morning after pill, but it's not really an abortion pill. You're not going to ban that. Why would you ban that? Probably a good thing. Just go to show that there's still a lot of nuts out there that are hiding in the wings, and there's this shit ain't over. And you know what gets me is that what, what's this group, uh, um, uh, QAnon? QAnon, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Trump won't denounce them. I know. Yeah. In spite Except of the fact wanted. that what they stand for is absolutely ludicrous. I mean, it, as, it's not I, even a question of whether uh, uh, you, you, I have an opinion about them. They're spreading mistruths. And one mistruth that got, uh, uh, turned tragic was the thing at the pizza parlor. That was a QAnon thing, yeah. Yeah. you know, uh, where the guy went into the pizza parlor and started shooting it up because he heard through QAnon that there was an abortion there was a uh, child uh, sex ring running out of the basement run by Hillary Clinton and when yeah. he went in and looked for a basement there wasn't a basement in the pizza parlor check that? huh <laughs> did you fact check that yes I did go fact question. check it Phil go look for it that that, ac- that, that, that actually slow. that actually happened Phil I don't know if you read the news about the well, shoot up I, in the I pizza parlor the- I know about the pizza parlor. I didn't know about the QAnon. It's Q. It was a QAnon conspiracy. Yeah. 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 Search and send it to us, please. Yeah. I got another yeah, question. They, <laughs> another the question. Republicans if, won't con, They won't condemn a, them uh, because they know that a large percentage of their backers are QAnon people, and you know you can. There's like 15 people from QAnon that or that believe in that that are running for uh, yeah. political office. Yeah. yeah. They believe that the there is a cons- cons- BS of uh, uh, Kevin. Was there a subtle message to uh, malaria wearing a military uniform tonight? It wasn't a military uniform. Sure as hell looked like it. Yeah. Probably. You know. It I give her credit, though. She, she was the only one that offered it, any sympathy for Why in the fuck was she wearing a military what, what, uniform? What, what were you saying? She was the only one that had any sympathy for what? She's the, <laughs> she's the only one that's offered any sympathy for people with COVID. You know, yeah. everybody else is, hasn't even mentioned it, barely. You know? Yeah, it's not a it's not a good word to bring up at the Republican convention right. because then you've yeah. got to be really fact checked. On the other hand, the Democrats never mentioned anything about the riots that are going on in the street. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. As a yeah. matter of fact, they did, Phil. Absolutely, I heard them. Yes, they did. Yeah, they I, did. They actually denounced them. A they couple did, places. Phil. Yeah. yeah. Now, factcheck.org. There's no search. There's no yeah, there now. Factcheck.org. Go over to Snopes. That's, That's where you'll find it's, it's got a search thing you know on the top you are. Of there. Yeah, no, it's got a donate thing. No, there's a search search thing. Um, yeah. I, I search you thing. know, Phil spends it's half his time part. trying to prove he's right rather than occasionally saying, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Turn off your cookies. They know who you are. But he's learned his whole thing from Trump. Never admit you're wrong. Yeah. Right, Robert? You're laughing. Not me. I'm just sitting here. Oh, I see. You're just a, a casual observer, are you? I, I, I'm, I'm inspired by the Republican platform. Yes. <laughs> He's studying. Yes. <laughs> well, the reason why they don't have a Republican platform is that Trump won't read it. So why do it? Yeah. You know. 
Because he doesn't read anything unless they draw cartoons and things like that, you know. He won't Bullet read points. something. He has to have somebody read it to him. And if you look at his speeches, do you ever notice how big the print is? And, and how it takes a half page as opposed to a full page per, per page? Yeah. And then he just I, reads it like some kid trying to read the Torah during his bar mitzvah. As teleprompters are the same thing, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's terrible. He's terrible. Well, I, I four just, words uh, per screen. Hopefully, I just bought that new. I just bought that new book uh, called "Hoax" by Brian Stetter. Yeah, um, it's all about how, you know, Fox, Fox News, and Trump are like so intertwined now. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, literally, yeah. I mean, literally, Hannity is like his chief of staff. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, people in the in, in his in his cabinet, sometimes, you know, they don't even want to, you know, they don't even want to talk to him until they you know, know what, uh, till they've heard what yeah. Hannity did. Quickly, say. quickly, what Morris did you... Morris trying to get under his desk. What did you think of uh, of Trump's uh, sister and what she had to say, what they, the recording they had of her? Oh, uh, well, that was hilarious. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, I mean, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't really matter at this point, you know. Everybody knows, you know, everything about him. Well, it's just that somebody that close and yeah. somebody that personal to him an older yeah. sister, by the way, um, thought he's just full of crap, basically. Is what I, don't, I don't think anything can hurt the guy anymore, you know? He's at the lowest level. It's just, I mean, I think everybody's locked in. They should just have what, the election now. I'll tell you what really bothers me is that America voted for this guy, and there are still mm -hmm. anybody who believes him. Mm -hmm. Really yeah. l makes me lose faith in this country. Snopes, Snopes doesn't have anything. On the QAnon. Okay, connection. well, that doesn't mean it, uh, the story I'm telling you isn't true. It yeah, just well, means that, 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 that. Do you remember the pizza that, parlor that, getting shot up, Phil? Yeah, I remember. And that. do you remember the reason why he did it? Yeah, he thought uh, Clinton. Uh, yeah, was yeah, Clinton. yeah. Well, we know that. But you the know, point, the point I'm making is, is that yeah. that whole theory was was put on the air by what's his name, uh, Alex Jones. Yeah. And yeah. Alex yeah. Jones, Alex Jones got it from QAnon. Yeah. Let me let me let me say this about that. Uh, no, first, you're, you're, you, don't, you don't care for anything now. You don't no. have any time to say anything. And no, I don't care anything. Yeah. By the way, watch the documentary on PBS about Alex Jones. OK, go to Frontline. It was about two weeks ago. Fascinating. Just absolutely fascinating. Good show. Very there, good. Yeah. There's our theme, by the way. Now, listen, tomorrow night I'm going to be doing the show as regular and usual, but YouTube has started a new way that we have to do the show, and I'm trying it tomorrow night to see if it works. I have no idea. If I don't get on on time, just stick with me because I'll have to go through some other things. But if it works perfectly, then it works perfectly. Anyway, I want to thank you, Charlie, for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, Brian, as always, appreciate it. Uh, Adrian Phil, sleeping. Thank you. What? Adrian's sleeping. Okay, Adrian's sleeping. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just got in trouble for yelling for her. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 Jeff, uh, thank you so much. You were very quiet tonight. I don't know if you said anything. I know. I'm sick of uh, Trump. I know. Well, don't worry. Yeah, only only, only 97 more days or whatever. Uh, 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 thank you, Rob. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, uh, John. And thank you to Kevin. Uh, why don't you all give a big wave goodbye, and I'll wave back goodbye at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. There's our citizen panel. And um, there'll be another one here in just a few minutes using Skype as its, uh, as its way of doing business. Um, and that will be presided over by Jack Bishop doing the intersection. Uh, I'm here again uh, tomorrow night. We've we got a sports show at 8.30, and then at 10.30... I will be back here for another session of this nonsense. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her and be careful out there and wear a mask, okay? Good night, everybody. Good night.